Bitcoin and crypto's massive $1 trillion meltdown over recent weeks has spooked investors, with sudden price spiral fears suddenly emerging. Subscribe now to Forbes Crypto Asset and Blockchain Advisor and successfully navigate the volatile Bitcoin and crypto market. The Bitcoin price has lost more than 50% since hitting its all-time high of almost $70. Oh, oh, oh for Bitcoin in November, dragged down by a hawkish Federal Reserve and the collapse of the price of other major coins, including Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Solana, Cardano and Avalanche, have fared even worse. Now, Scott Minard, the chief investment officer at $252 billion asset manager Guggenheim, has revealed just how far he thinks Bitcoin could fall before it hits an ultimate bottom while warning the majority of crypto is garbage. Want to stay ahead of the market and understand the latest crypto news? Sign up now for the free Crypto Codex, a daily newsletter for crypto investors and the crypto curious when you break below $30, oh 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 consistently, $8, oh 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 is the ultimate bottom, Minard told CNBC on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Davos, adding Bitcoin is the canary in the coal mine WH. Let's face it, most of these currencies, they're not currencies, they're junk. The majority of crypto is garbage. Smaller cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum, BNB, XRP, Solana, Cardano and Avalanche, were hard hit by the sudden collapse of the Terraud stablecoin and its support coin Luna this month, with panic sweeping through the market as contagion appeared to spread. Minard, who predicts both Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest cryptocurrencies by a considerable margin, will both survive the current crypto crash, thinks future a cryptocurrency will outclass many of the smaller coins currently jostling for space. I don't think we've seen the dominant player in cry. This week, the latest Fed Open Market Committee meeting minutes revealed the central bank will continue to pursue its policy of interest rate hikes and cuts to its bloated balance sheet, with most committee members signaling 50 basis point hikes would likely be appropriate at the upcoming June end. Others have also pointed to the European Central Bank's ECB telegraphed interest rate hike in July, its first in a decade, as weighing on markets.